Hey everyone, my name is Zach Mueller. And I'm Christine Gerhardt. And welcome back once again to Expose. Sherlock, Sherlock is out, oh my god, Darren Brown is in it, it's so good, not gonna spoil anything, just saying. Welcome to the show. Once again, we want to thank you all for coming back. I'm going to step over here, watch some more Sherlock, just go on the Tumblr, just... It's not even fair, because oh. I can't watch it while I film. I'm just going to be reblogging. Alright guys, I'm going to do the news as quickly as possible so you can't tell that I'm Flemmy in in this. Tim's Vermeer is coming to the UK, the film was directed by Teller, is narrated by Penn Jillette, and is freaking awesome! The documentary follows Tim Jennison as he postulates that Vermeer may have used a camera... As Camera? That's camera not how you say obscura. that. It's a camera obscura. To create his incredibly lifelike paintings. So you should check that out. It's pretty freaking fantastic. There's a video on BBC News Entertainment website. You should watch it. Justin Wilman, Nate Staniforth, and James Galea were on New Talk to UE radio talk show in Australia. They did some awesome magic on the show. So you should check that out if you can. There's videos somewhere, I'm sure. Pictures, Twitter. Perhaps. You're definitely gonna want to keep your eye on these guys and band of magicians because they're gonna take over. Check out the latest episode of the Amazing Jonathan's Burn Unit. It's out on YouTube, and then it'll be up on the Burn Unit website later. Scott Land is in it, so there's puppets. All right, that's all for me, guys. I'm gonna go watch Sherlock now. Hello, guys. On the wire this week, we have three new effects. Let's get into them. Oi Lyrigith, I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly, is a very spin heavy and free flourish that looks like this. <laughs> Scandinavian display is another flourish by the same cardist that is only 99 cents. Here's what it looks like. And last but not least, the shovel control is a very deceptive control that is not that difficult. Here's the trailer. glorious downloads are available right now on the wire so go check them out last week I requested that you comment on the episode and one of those comments would win a deck of something so here's our winner for this week congrats to Juhoon Kim you have won a deck of monarchs if you would like to win a deck of monarchs or something equally as awesome comment on this episode and next week we will pick a winner and it just might be be you. I want so badly to tell you how awesome the new episode of Sherlock is with Darren Brown, but I don't want to get into too much specifics, so go watch it. But Darren Brown has twice now been the explanation to things that cannot be explained on the BBC. Once in Doctor Who, and now in Sherlock. When you get to a point in your career as a magician where you are the only explanation for things that cannot be explained, in a world of fiction where you can create the explanation for anything, you're in a pretty good place. All right guys, that's all for me this week. I hope you have an awesome 2014. Michael James, take it away. Hello and welcome back. So, it's 2014. It's really hard to believe actually. Um, this is the time of year where a lot of people are coming up with New Year's resolutions. For me personally, it's more about figuring out what I want to accomplish in 2014. Uh, Theory 11 has a lot of great things planned for this year, things that I never even thought were possible. So I wanted to take this opportunity to really challenge you. You know, as magicians, we all have goals. We wouldn't do what we do without them. And maybe your goal is becoming the next David Copperfield or the next David Blaine. Maybe it's coming up with the most groundbreaking, progressive idea in magic ever conceived. Whatever your goals are, I'm here to tell you that you can make those goals a reality if you'll only apply yourself. If you look at people like Dan White or Kaylin Morelli, these people are on to great things and they're just normal people. They're just like you and I, but they had a vision for their life and they would not stop until they saw that vision become a reality. And I believe we all have what it takes to be rock stars in magic. You have what it takes, but are you willing to apply yourself? Are you willing to fail? Are you willing to push yourself harder than you've ever pushed to get to that point? You know, we're actively looking for people 
uh, at Theory 11, people who are willing to commit themselves to magic, who are willing to work hard and never lose sight of their goals. You know, maybe you've wanted to submit things to the wire. Maybe you've wanted to become the next Theory 11 artist. That can happen. We're looking for people like you. And if you look at people like Edward Boswell, Edward, he, he's just a normal guy. He had an idea, he perfected that idea, and he would not stop until he saw that idea get published. He sent us a video. Uh, it was nothing elaborate, it was, a, it was a webcam video. But we were sold. We signed him, we got the, uh, the, the effect produced, and that effect, Rapture, ended up being one of our best sellers in 2012, all because of an idea and he worked hard and he made it happen. If you look at people like Spidey, Spidey started out small, submitting an effect to The Wire. Now he's collaborating with us on project after project and we love working with Spidey. Maybe you've wanted all of this, maybe you've wanted to submit things to The Wire or become a Theory 11 artist and you've tried, but it just hasn't happened. Don't give up on that. Your failures do not dictate your future successes. You know, if I look at the success I've had in my own life. Every success I've had has been preceded by so much failure. I failed, I failed, I failed, but I kept working towards that goal until I saw the result that I wanted. So I bring up all of this because I believe that we have so much potential, we have so much potential in the community to push magic to where it's never been before. And I can't wait to see where magic goes in 2014. You have everything it takes to be the most epic person in magic. And uh, that's my pep talk to you. Uh, it's really all I had to say. Um, if you have a goal this year, stick with it. Don't give up, work hard, and you'll be surprised how easy it is to reach your goal when you have the right mindset. Um, I can't wait to see what happens in the new year. Enjoy, enjoy 2014, and um, I'll catch you guys next time. Once again, I want to thank you all for watching. On behalf of myself, Kristen, Andre, Michael, and the rest of the Theory 11 team, on behalf of Sherlock himself, Can Benedict you do that? Cumberbatch. I'm saying it. On behalf of Benedict Cumberbatch, thank you for watching. I would have gone with Darren Brown myself. Okay. We'll see you next Friday.